Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're looking at the metric unit conversions. We're also going to use this to calculate speed and density. This is going to be super useful for GCSE Maths and GCSE Science. Before we begin, we need to uh, learn the metric unit conversions. You should really pause the video now and make a poster of all of these so you will remember them. You need to know that 10 millimeters is the same as one centimeter, a thousand millimeters is one meter, 100 centimeters is one meter, a thousand meters is one kilometer. One kilogram is the same as one thousand grams, 1,000 kilograms is the same as one ton. For time, 60 seconds is one minute, 60 minutes is one hour, 24 hours is one day, and 365 days is one year. And then for capacity, uh, 1,000 milliliters is the same as one liter. This is how you would measure liquids. Okay. As I say, you need to memorize these and you need to know these perfectly uh, for your exams. So, uh, to convert, say you wanted to go from meters to kilometers. Well, there's a thousand meters in a kilometer, so you know that to go from a thousand to one, you would divide by a thousand. To go the other way, from one to a thousand, you would multiply by a thousand. Like this. So if you remember the basic 1,000 to 1 uh, kilometer, 1,000 meters is 1 kilometer, you can figure out that to go from 1,000 to 1 you divide by 1,000 and to go the other way you times by 1,000. This is how you memorize your conversions. To go from hours to days you divide by 24 and to go from days to hours you times by 24. From minutes to hours divide by 60 and times by 60. Okay, so uh, let's see this in action with our first example. A runner sprints 0.8 kilometers in 2 minutes 3 seconds. How fast is she running in meters per second? Well, this is a tricky one because it's asking for meters per second. So you want the distance in meters and you want the time in seconds because it says meters per second. And we need to remember that speed is the same as distance divided by time. So the distance is 0 0.8 kilometers. To go from kilometers to meters, we're going to times by a thousand. 0 0.8 times a thousand on your calculator is 800 meters. To go from uh, minutes to uh, seconds, we're going to go from minutes to seconds by times in by 60. So two minutes, we times by 60, two times 60 is 120. So this is 120 and three seconds, which is 123 seconds. Now the speed, uh, we're going to do that by doing uh, the distance divided by time, 800 divided by 123, which is about 6.5 meters per second. And that's the final answer. Okay? Good. Now, uh, we're also going to look at converting area and volume. So here we have a one meter square. This is one meter by one meter, and the area is one meter squared. But this is the same as 100 centimeters by 100 centimeters. So this same area in uh, centimeters squared, we're going to calculate by doing 100 times 100. 100 times 100 is 10,000 centimeters squared. So one meter square of area is the same as 10,000 centimeters squared of area. Some people think it should be 100 centimeters squared, but it's a little bit more than that. And you calculate it by converting the lengths into centimeters first and then multiplying to find the area. Similarly for volume, this is a one meter by one meter by one meter cube, a one meter cubed of volume, which is a hundred centimeters by hundred centimeters by hundred centimeters. We multiply hundred times hundred times hundred is 1 million centimeters cubed. So, 1 meter cubed is the same as a million centimeters cubed. And similarly for area and volume, to convert from meters cubed to centimeters cubed, or indeed millimeters cubed, you would convert the uh, lengths first into centimeters or millimeters and then multiply afterwards. Okay? So, Example two, the cuboid below has a mass of 2,508 grams. 
What is its density in kilograms per meters cubed? Well, density is given by mass divided by volume. So uh, that is an equation you need to remember for mass and physics. And the lengths are given in 1,200 millimeters, 50 centimeters, and 0 0.4 meters. Well, we're going to uh, convert the millimeters to meters, and we're going to convert the centimeters uh, to meters. This is already in meters over here. To go from millimeters to meters, you uh, divide by a thousand. So you do 1,200 divided by a thousand will be 1.2 meters. And 50 centimeters, uh, well, to go from centimeters to meters, you divide by a hundred. So 50 divided by 100 is 0 0.5. You are welcome to use a calculator for all of this, of course. And so we've converted to meters now. And to find the volume, we're just going to multiply. So 1.2 times 0 0.5 times 0 0.4 on your calculator is 0 0.24 meters cubed. Now um, we've also got the mass, which is 2,508 grams. And to go from... Uh, grams to kilograms, we divide by 1,000. 2,508 divided by 1,000 is 2.508 kilograms. We put those into the formulas. The mass divided by the volume is 10.45 kilograms per meter cubed. And that's the final answer. Okay. Now we have some practice questions for you to try here. So I'd like to pause the video and try these yourselves. The questions in the green box, we're going to just convert. So 500 milliliters, convert to liters. 2.3 meters, convert to centimeters. Then I want you to convert three days into how many hours, into how many minutes, into how many seconds. Remember your conversions from the first, uh, from the first page of this video. Then we have a question about uh, density and uh, speeds. So read those questions carefully, remember to do the conversions. You probably have to draw a picture for the cube so you can uh, realise what's going on. And when you're ready, you can uh, press play and I'll reveal the answers in 3, 2, 1. Did you get it right? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching today's video from Advanced Maths. We have more videos coming every week. We cover GCSE, A-Level and IV Maths. Remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. And thanks for watching. Good luck in your exams.